Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Archivet YouTube channel. Today, before we get started, oh. Hello? They seem to have done it. We have three people. Yep. Three people on. back to the channel my name's Trevor and today before we get started I'm out here looking for something the boys lost and I found this frog now, I just want to see if you guys could see him because I, I barely barely see him let's see if I can point to him on the camera it should be right there just chilling just chilling in our little lake that we have here so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get my water boots on and I'm going to actually walk in there because I don't want to walk in there with these on because then my feet will be soaking wet, like soaking wet. Anyhow, check out that Yee merch. I know I should be, I should be showing my merch, the Arctic Vet merch, which is down in the description below because I would love to start seeing some more of that. And what I really want to know from you guys is, should, what what should I do with my merch? What, what ideas do you have? What kind of stuff do you guys like? Now we're inside and I'm going to go find my boots and then we'll get started with today's actual video, which is a comparison video of Dora pre-lift, during the lift with the stock wheels and then current with the new wheels so stay tuned we'll get to that real soon i'm gonna go find my boots all right all right all right go ahead go ahead drop the comments down below there you go there you go yep there let me flip the gas the right way there we go there we go they're my water boots yep now you might be asking why are they green well Quick little story, they're green because I painted them green for Halloween one year at work, a work party, a work Halloween deal. I painted them green and it worked out really well with my outfit, which I believe I went as Peter Pan or something like that. It was a long time ago. Anyhow, I'm gonna put in a clip here from a past video of Dora pre-lift, put that in here, show you guys measurements. And then after that one, I'm gonna do, I, I think I I think I might have a clip of her stock tire with lift. And I'll put that in. And then if not, we'll go to a picture of her with the lift and the stock tires, and then go to back to this video right now today. So here we go, let's begin. Well, that's okay. So first off, I want to, I just want to see, ah, maybe, I'm struggling here, wait, 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 there, I just want to see what we're sitting at, <clears throat> so we can, uh, so it's about 31 and a half inches up on the driver front, the driver rear, this way we can do like a little before and after. It's about, you know, we're just gonna call that 33. It's just below it. At like 32 and three quarters. And then same thing on this side. Yep, 32 and three quarters here. On the passenger rear. And then our front is 31 and a half so that's our before we're gonna show you guys the very big well right there it's gonna be changing if you can tell me what's in those boxes something is gonna be changing today and we are actually loading up 
them boxes and headed to my favorite place. Let's roll that in. All right, bear with me here. As we're not on concrete like the last time, but there we can see that we've got about 33 and a half inches up front and in the rear get that locked in there in the rear we've got about 33 and a half as well so I'm we'll just double check this side too because it well okay this is not going to be accurate Dang, look at that, boys. Whew, 36 inches. Whew. <laughs> it's just because of how it parked. So, I mean, this isn't very accurate because that one shows to like 32. But, I mean, you get the picture. Like, I went from, I went from 245.70, I believe is what it was, or 65. We can go check in two seconds. To a 265, 60, 18. So that is a 265, 60, 18. And to make it fit up front, the only thing I had to do was, it's really hard to see, but I had to trim this. So I have a video that shows um, how to fit 30s on a Ford Explorer. And that video shows you how what I cut, how I cut it, and what made it work out. So out there in the pond ruler, I was looking for this. Guess where I found it? In the pocket of the shorts that he was wearing outside. Let's go downstairs real quick. Check out the uh, old tire size. And so then you guys can know. I, I'm pretty sure it's a 245. 245. Oh man, it's wet down here. Let's see. And these are like some brand new tires. Yeah, okay. 245, 60, 18. So we stuck with the 60, but went from. Yeah, wow. That's not very good. I guess let me come down here and check this out, huh? Anyhow, we went to a. Make sure my boxes are all dry at least. Down here it's a little wet, but that's okay. That's okay. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Nothing down there to, to hurt with water. <clears throat> For those who don't know, that's our beautiful cross. I need to uh, put the mounts on the end of it. But anyhow, that is a comparison from a stock 2016 Ford Explorer without a lift, without epic tires, to having stock tires still, which are 245s, with a two and a half inch truck lift, and now to now, a two and a half inch truck lift plus some sick tires that are beefed up to 265, 6018. Oh yeah, and I forgot. We have two inch wheel spacers on this. <laughs> and man, do they look good. They look so much better like that. So much better. If I could though, the only thing that I would change is I would rather have this inset more instead of being right on the lip. I really wanted some lip here, and I got a little bit, but I wanted more, and that's okay. I think maybe now I need to paint my caliper like bright red or something, maybe blue. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, a roof rack eventually, yeah, that'd be pretty sick. Think about changing up my decals. Oh, man. I need to just quit looking at it, guys. I need to quit looking at it because the more I look at it, the more I want to do, the more I want to change, the more stuff I want to find. But they don't make, they don't really make much for these. 
so i'm kind of stuck where i'm at it looks really good i do still need to fix this mirror again yes again again but uh absolutely love it miss dora have lights i don't know how to put those lights on though so i'm i'm kind of like i'm pushing that off because i don't want to drill into the body maybe maybe i could do something up here with this light bar make it work or get that roof rack and put some on the roof rack maybe that'd be the best bet that'd be pretty cool you know what i think that's the route i'll go i think i'll get the roof rack and i'll put the lights on the roof rack and then the two up in the front yeah i like that maybe i'll run two back here somewhere somehow anyways if you guys enjoyed this video smash that thumbs up drop some comments down below and don't forget join the arctic vet family by clicking that red subscribe button don't forget to ring that bell i'm gonna say don't forget a lot because i don't want you to forget and i want you to click that button right now go ahead do all three we'll wait who we'll wants a kitty 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 oh oh he spotted me <laughs> I hope that you guys had a chance to click that like button, drop your comment down below, let me know what you think, and to also click that red subscribe and ring that bell because we know it's all for the algorithm. It all makes the Arctic Vet family that much bigger, that much better. Time to go inside. Catch you guys later. Have a great day and God bless.